Hi, it's Kristen, and this is the first in a series of videos to help you with the Schoology Skyward integration. By now, we have almost fully integrated Schoology and Skyward, but there's enough done in the process for you to start working on your Schoology courses. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and log into a teacher account. Uh, thanks to Mr. Wallace for letting me use his account. The first thing I want to point out is that prior to this year, you've logged in with your at 277 apps account, and now you're going to need to log into Schoology with your at West Tonka account. This is because we're pulling your email address from Skyward. Students will still log in with their at 277 apps, but you'll now log in with your at West Tonka. So once you've logged into your Schoology account, the first thing I want you to do is go ahead and go to your courses. And what I noticed here in Mr. Wallace's account is that he has a couple of courses that he's enrolled in and created. And here now he has all of his Skyward courses. Now, one of the first things that you'll notice is because we're pulling the data from Skyward, it is going to be named with the Skyward naming structure. This is going to take a little bit of getting used to for both staff and students, as we're used to naming courses the way that makes sense for us. But we need to use the Skyward Skyward naming convention in order to eventually push grades back to Skyward. So you won't be able to change this, but I want to give you a few tips to help you navigate your Skyward page or your Schoology page a little bit better. So the first thing that I'm going to ask you to do is go ahead and open up one of your courses, and you may want to check the members in your course. The great thing about the Schoology Skyward integration is now all of your students are loaded in for you. We're currently still manually uploading students, but we will be putting that in an automatic upload each day. So as students are added or dropped from courses, they will be added and dropped from both your Skyward and your Schoology. So one thing that you may want to do is go ahead and log into your Skyward account and pull up your class lists and double check to see that your class roster in Skyward matches your class roster in Schoology. Again, I'm currently updating these uh, daily or every other day, but they will be on a daily rotation in the next week or so. So you want to make sure that those are matching up. And if you notice any problems between your Skyward and your Schoology, you'll want to contact me about making those adjustments and changes. So one of the things you're also going to notice is that there's a long list of courses and that can be kind of overwhelming. And so you may want to take the time at this point to link your courses together. Now, currently, you're going to see all your courses for the entire year. I'm working with Skyward and Schoology to make sure that you can only see your courses for a semester. But currently, you can see them for the whole year. So there are some things you can do to make this a little bit more user friendly. When you go to your courses, you'll see this little arrow right here, and this is how you reorder your courses. So you can reorder your courses and put only your first semester courses at the top of your course list here. Now notice that I have multiple sections, so that's difficult to do. So before I reorder my courses, I'm actually going to go into my gradebook and I'm going to link sections. So to do that, I'm going to go to the See All button right here. And notice that for Phi Ed 8, I have three sections of Phi Ed. Now, if I go to Skyward, I can check which one of these sections is first quarter or first semester and which is second semester. But it's also easy to check if you try to link them together. If I click on this pull down menu here and I try to link the existing sections, you'll notice that the other grade eights are linked out. That's because I only have one Phi Ed 8 in my first semester. So I can't link those together. But I can go ahead and link these other two courses together so that in my schedule, I'll only see one course there. Now, you don't have to link your sections, but I highly recommend linking sections because then you only have to upload your materials into one course versus into multiple courses. If you put an assignment on your calendar, it shows up for all your sections instead of just one section having to copy it over. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with my FIAD 9 down here. Again, you can see that the ones that have the same grading period are highlighted. The rest of them can't be linked together. So I'm going to go ahead and link those sections. This might take a, just a second. And then I'm going to do that lastly with this one here.
So now instead of having those 10 sections, I'm going to have a smaller number of sections to work with here. Now you also notice that there are some courses that have been pulled over from Skyward that aren't gonna have any content. Student prep period is one, you might have advisory. We're working again with Skyward and Schoology to resolve this so that we can code those courses differently, but at this point we don't have that option. Now students aren't gonna see all of their courses, they're only gonna see their courses from the first semester. If I go back to my homepage here, You'll notice that I have, uh, it still seems like I have all those courses. It actually takes a little while to populate. So in the next video, I'm gonna come back and show you how those linked courses look together. And I'm gonna show you how to reorder your courses and also add a picture so that you can better sort your courses and organize your Schoology page.